Hey guys, today we are going to review some key features of quadratic functions. Let's first look at the three forms of quadratic equations that we've learned. So standard form was y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And the vertex is hk. why it's called vertex form and then factored form is y equals a times x minus m times x minus n and m and n are the solutions or the roots so we are going to identify some key features from this graph and then we will practice writing the equation of this graph in different forms. So let's start with the axis of symmetry. I'm going to label it here. There is the invisible symmetrical line for that parabola and it looks like it's at x equals negative one. And then the vertex the axis of symmetry goes through it. It's the turning point of the parabola. It's right there. So the x value is going to be negative 1. And then let me count how far down it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So negative 8. And then our y-intercept is right here. It looks like that is at 0, negative 6. And we have a minimum here. And the minimum value is negative 8, since that's the lowest that the graph goes. And then remember, x-intercepts are the same thing as our roots. And that would be right here at negative 3 and right here at positive 1. I'm using curly brackets since those are the solution. We have another point on this graph. Let's see where that point is that was labeled for us right here. It looks like that is negative 3, negative 6. Or negative 2, negative 6. Whoops, it only goes over 2. Negative 2, negative 6. Okay, and then the domain for parabolas is always all real numbers since it'll go in the left and the right direction forever. And then the range is y is greater than or equal to that minimum value because the lowest it goes is negative 8. And then it just keeps going up from there. So the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 8. Okay, let's look at number 1. It wants us to write the equation of the parabola in vertex form. So I'm going to write down vertex form and then we'll talk about what we need to be able to write that equation in vertex form. So vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So from the parabola, I can identify h and k. I already did that. The vertex was negative 1, negative 8. So I'm going to write down negative 1, negative 8, and label it as h and k. And then from the graph, I can also identify a point, which I already did that. The point was negative 2, negative 6. And I'm going to use that for x and y. So now I'm going to replace x and y with negative 2 and negative 6, and h and k with negative 1 and negative 8. And then I can write this in vertex form because I will have solved for a. So let's replace y with negative 6 equals a is what I'm solving for times x is negative 2 and then h was negative 1 and I have to do the opposite of h so that's going to be plus 1 squared and then k was negative 8 so minus 8. Okay now I need to solve for a so first thing I need to do is simplify that so I'm going to do the parentheses first so this will be a times negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 squared and then minus 8 and then negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1 which is 1 so that just becomes negative 6 equals a minus 8 and then I add 8 and I get 2 equals a so now I have everything I need to write the equation in vertex form I have a it's 2 
And then I have H and K from the vertex. So we can write this in vertex form. It will be Y equals two for A times X. The opposite of H is plus one squared and then minus eight. So there's the equation in vertex form. Okay, then the next question is asking us which of the following correctly shows the transformations of the parabola from the quadratic parent function f of x equals x squared. So vertex form shows us the transformations. We can also visualize the transformations from the graph. Um, First of all, it looks like my graph got skinnier, which I can see from vertex form. All of them have two, so that doesn't help me eliminate. And then my vertex from the origin where the parent function is, it looks like we moved left one. So left one means that I would add one inside the parentheses, because remember inside the parentheses is kind of opposite of what you would think. So I can cross out A and C, and then my vertex was at negative one, negative eight, so that means I went down eight, and it is B that shows down eight. And as you can see, that pretty much matches vertex form. Vertex form and function notation for transformations are pretty interchangeable. Okay, now number three is asking us to write the equation of the parabola in factored form. So let's write down the formula for factored form. And then we will see if we can get enough information from the graph to be able to write it in factored form. So y equals a times x minus n, m times x minus n. So the first thing that I need are M and N, which it looks like I got that from the graph already. It was right here. My X intercepts solutions were negative three and one. So M and N were negative three and one. And then just like the last problem, I used this point, negative two, six that was marked. So there's X and Y. So now I can substitute everything but A and solve for A. So I'm going to replace Y with negative six equals A times, I'm going to replace X with negative two and then the opposite of M would be plus three. I'll replace X with negative two again, and then the opposite of N would be minus one. So now I need to solve for A. So it'll be negative six equals A times, I'm going to simplify these parentheses, negative two plus three is one, and negative two minus one is negative three. And a times one times negative three is negative three a, so I get negative six equals negative three a, and divide by negative three, I get two equals a. Which makes sense because that's what I got up here too, a is just the shape of the parabola. But now I have everything I need to write it in factored form. I have a, it's two, I have m, and I have n. So let's write our equation in factored form. It'll be y equals, I'm gonna replace a with two times x. The opposite of m is plus three times x. The opposite of n is minus one. So there's the equation in factored form. Okay, now it wants us to write the equation of the parabola in standard form. So I can take my vertex form or my factored form and then convert it to standard form. I'm going to practice showing both of them so that you have these for your notes to refer back to later. So let's start with the vertex form. So for vertex form, 
let's write down what the vertex form was. Y equals two times X plus one squared minus eight. So for vertex form, the first thing that you have to do is multiply that binomial squared, and then we will distribute the two to that product, and then we will combine like terms with K. So let's write out those steps that you have them to refer back to. You're gonna multiply either with the box or foil with what I highlighted in blue, and then you will distribute whatever that number for A is. I'm gonna highlight that in pink. We're gonna distribute the two. And then the last step is going to be to combine like terms. And you're gonna combine like terms with that K value. So there's your steps. So let's do the multiplication of that X plus one squared first. So I'm going to use the box to multiply that. X plus one times X plus one, X times X is X squared, X times one is one X, X times one is one X, and one times one is one. And then when I combine like terms, I get X squared plus two X plus one. So now I can replace this with its product X squared plus two X plus one. So I'm going to get Y equals two times X squared plus two X plus one, and then minus eight. And now I'm going to distribute the two and I get Y equals two X squared plus four X plus two, and then bring down the minus eight. And now I'm going to combine like terms with the two minus eight, and I get Y equals two X squared plus four X minus six. So there is the standard form after converting from vertex form. Let's make sure that I did this correctly by converting the factored form equation to vertex or to standard form as well. So with factored form, let's write down the equation I got for factored form. It was y equals two times x plus three times x minus one. So y equals two times x plus three times x minus one. And on this one, I do not have as many steps. My first step is gonna be the same. I need to multiply those binomials together. So I'm gonna either need to do the box or foil to multiply that binomial times a binomial. And then my second step, I will have to distribute out this two. We will distribute a. So we don't have to combine like terms. We don't have that third step like we did when we were converting vertex form. Um, let's go ahead and this time I'm going to use a box for x plus three times x minus one. So x times x is x squared x times negative one is negative one x, x times three is three x, and three times negative one is negative three. And then I combine like terms and I get x squared plus two x minus three. So I multiply these together and I get y equals two times that product was x squared plus two x minus three. And now all I have to do is distribute the two and I get y equals two x squared plus four x minus six, which is the same thing I got with vertex form. So I must have done it correctly.